Hey, this is Angie for Happy Healthy Vegan. So, if you are following us over at facebook.com slash happyhealthyvegan, then you might have seen a thread wherein I confess that I had accidentally filmed about 30 or 40 minutes of footage the other day when trying to just do a simple day in the life video. So rather than make an extremely long video or throwing away a bunch of video, what I decided to do was cut it up into a series of videos. So you're going to see me wearing this shirt on at least two videos. I did change it though because we went to the beach anyway. To make a long story short, this is the portion of the video wherein I showed you guys how to make one of um, kind of our regular you know, weekly meals and it's one that I've shown on Instagram a lot and you guys have really seemed to like it. So even though this video is just shot in the very like loose day in a lifestyle rather than my super fancy um, recipe videos, I decided that I wanted to share it with you guys so you can just start making this dish and enjoying it now. So by the way, here's our stash. I'm going to use these to make some uh, salsa in a second. I put most of the mangoes in the fridge because they're getting really ripe. There's um, a banana, it's looking nice and spotty. Some avos getting really ripe in this heat. Yeah, see here's, here's what's left of the really yummy mango stash. Um, so blueberries, or strawberries, lots of greens. I got some really delicious bike corn. More veggies and greens in here. I think Ryan's actually in the mood for some rice and beans. So we've got some started in here with some mushrooms and a little bit of uh, chili powder. So I'm gonna make a super quickie, like a quick and dirty salsa um, using the fresh tomatoes. Okay, so first I'm just taking a handful of cilantro. I'm just gonna give it a, just a really quick cursory chop and throw it into my food processor. I think I got this little machine for like 20 bucks. Mmm, smells so good. So there it is all chopped up. Alright, I'm a no measuring type of girl. I can just sprinkle some in there. That looks good. I like to just squeeze my lemon in though. Sometimes the seed pops out and you have to retrieve it. There's one. Darn it. Alright, now I'm just gonna kind of chop the tomato. Oh my god. Look at that. It looks so good. Chop the tomatoes just lightly. Food process is gonna take care of most of it. Oh, these look so good. I just wanna eat them. In fact, I might have to eat a piece. Just like that. So easy. Oh my god, my spuds look like aliens, but I don't trip. I just I just take these roots off. In fact, you can throw these roots out into the garden and they may sprout a new potato. Okay, so I just sliced up those three potatoes kind of thin. I'm gonna steam them. It doesn't take too long. This is a wild cat that was born in the alley and she's been living here for like eight years. She won't let me pet her. Hi, she's being so good. Normally she would be hissing at me. Hi Miss Layla, you love the heat, huh? Anyway, I just want to show you guys I'm gonna throw these potato spuds out into the garden. And while we're here, let's take a look at the tomatoes. They're coming along. They're getting pretty luscious, lots of blooms. Oh, there's some more tomatoes. Oh, Layla's leaving. Oh, hi, Miss Layla. I can't believe you made it on a video. All right, now I'm gonna make an easy peasy guacamole. I'm a little nervous about this one. It looks like it may have gotten a little too ripe, but I'll cut it open, see what happens. Ooh, it's got that hollow feeling. Oh my goodness. Oh, it'd probably do. What's that? You want some avocado? Oh my gosh, this is what you want, isn't it? Maybe just a little bit. If he likes it, then I know it's good. If they refuse to eat it, I know it's gone bad. You're not sure about this one. What do you think? Pop a taste test. Oh, the phone. It's a little gross. No, oh, it's hard. Can't believe someone's calling. It's more right than I would like, but 
Then again, it's going to be blocking away, so. You scrape out so nice and clean. Then we're going to add a little bit more cilantro. Totally reminded me of the California. Yeah. <laughs> Normally I'd rather actually use lime, but limes are not in season anywhere. So I've actually got some lemon that Brian picked from a neighbor's tree. And just a dash of black pepper to this. Wait, if you want to be super fancy, get a little ooh, paprika. And look who's watching this whole time. Hi, Bobo. Hi, beautiful boy. Mmm, you're so cute. I'm just going to add a little bit of cumin to it. The potatoes are already done. I'm just going to throw in some spinach for a little light steam while the beans cook up. I'm going to give these a light mash with my potato mash right here. Ah, oh, yes, perfect. The rice alone actually would be totally fine. But we want it all. I want it all, 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 all. I want it all, 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 all. I want it all. All the carbs. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to eat. And voila. So. Oh yeah. How do you feel about this? I feel very, very good about this. I guess, hey, we could do a bite of approval. Oh, yes, I'll oh, gladly take the bite of approval. Ryan Lums, bite of approval. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I love it. Yeah, I like the light out here. You can really see how delectable this is. Mm, no more PF and I'm gonna eat this. Oh, yes. So there you go, I hope you enjoyed it and that you'll try this recipe out and let me know what you think. I wanna give a super quick shout out to Denise and Joanna who are two of our newest Patreon patrons. Um, you know, they're actually gonna be getting a copy of the Keep It Car Baby Book as soon as it comes out digitally, so you can look forward to that. Um, you guys should definitely check out patreon.com slash happyhealthyvegan if you're interested in helping Ryan and I uh, raise funds for projects like the Keep It Car Baby Book and t-shirts and for just generally keeping the show going because every little donation really helps. So check it out. Um, thanks again to you two ladies. Um, you'll be hearing more from me really soon. Check your inbox over at Patreon. I would love to hear about um, your experiences with this recipe down below in the comments. Let me know what other things that you guys like to add into um, your dishes of this type and also if you guys have an idea for a name for this recipe I could really use some help so let's hear it all in the comments down below like the video if you're into it uh, share it with your friends pin it I have been seeing your guys photos over on Instagram when you try out my recipes and it always makes me super stoked so if you make this recipe and you're really proud go ahead and post a picture on Instagram and um, tag it happy healthy vegan so that's really, really it. Uh, subscribe, and until next time, keep it car, baby, keep it car. going crazy. This looping Jameson and this app won't open. It's, it's all bad. <laughs>